focus on soccer in the West African country of Ghana, we looked at the development of the game and how boys as young as six play in organized matches. This week, we focus on Hearts of Oak from the capital Accra, one of the oldest clubs in Africa, and we witness at close hand all the drama of their recent match against their oldest and most bitter rivals, Asante Kotoko. Hearts of Oak were founded in 1911, and ever since have been one of Africa's leading clubs. Support for the team in Accra and throughout the country borders on the fanatical. The pressure is continually on the players to succeed, especially when the opposition is Kotoko, with their equally fanatical support. The season in Ghana is only a few weeks old, and Hearts of Oak head coach Petra Gavrila of Romania is reinforcing his tactical thinking through an interpreter. Problem at the in defense to the same problem, said that we should always control the game. You should control the game, don't allow your opponents to dictate the game for you. You should dictate the game. But most of the time you still give them... For the last two months, the players have lived and trained with each other every day, having their performances analysed and building what Gavrila hopes will be a winning team spirit. <laughs> Hearts are facing two tough matches within four days. Their first game is in the league against Real Tamale United, followed by a cup match against Kotoko. Hearts complete their pre-match warm-up for the game against Tamale without a ball, limbering up on gravel in a courtyard adjacent to their stadium. The players are told only minutes before the match of the starting lineup. Coach Gavrila needs to ensure a victory against Tamale because Kotoko, the defending champions, have already made an excellent start to the season. Their top, Hearts third. The match in front of about 40,000 fans is far from a classic, and Hart scraped to a 1-0 victory thanks to a late penalty. Coach Gavrila is satisfied with the victory, but knows the team must play better to beat Kotogo. Kumasi is Ghana's second city, with one of the biggest street markets in the whole of West Africa. It's also home to Asante Kotoko, one of the biggest soccer clubs in the whole of Africa. Kotoko have been Ghanaian champions 16 times and have twice won the African Champions Cup, something hearts have never achieved. Their name is revered and feared throughout Africa.
The fans are eagerly anticipating the first meeting between the two teams this season. They're playing for a cup awarded by Ghana's sports writers and known as the Swag Cup. Unlike teams in more developed soccer nations, Kotoko and Hearts arrive for the match already stripped for action. But here's a familiar sight the world over, an overexcited fan about to miss the action. Despite the 300-mile journey from Accra to Kumasi, hearts are greeted by their loyal supporters. Thousands have taken the day off work for the game and have traveled for up to eight hours along some four roads in time for the late afternoon kickoff. Nearly 75,000 fans await the outcome. And it's Kotoko who opened the scoring a minute before half-time through Dua. Hearts look thoroughly dejected at the break. But in the second half, they press hard for an equaliser. Then just when it appears they may draw level, they disintegrate. 